three has two reactions we need to complete and balance. The first one is hydrogen nitrate plus calcium hydroxide. Hydrogen nitrate. Hydrogen is a plus one. Nitrate's a minus one. Calcium hydroxide. Calcium's a plus two. Hydroxide's a minus one. So for my reactants, I will have HNO3 plus, for calcium hydroxide, I need to crisscross the charges, CaOH2, making sure I have parentheses around the OH because I have more than one of the polyatomic ion. On the other side, hydrogen will bond to the other negative, giving us HOH, or you can write it as H2O. Calcium will now bond with the nitrate, and it's important to put the positive charge first, and the negative charge second. Since calcium is a minus one and cal I'm sorry, since calcium is a plus two and nitrate's a minus one, we end with CaNO3 two. Checking this reaction for balancing, I see that on the right I have two nitrates. If I put a two here, I now have two nitrates on the left. Now I have two hydrogens and two hydroxides, which will give me two hydrogen hydroxides or two waters. Also completely acceptable to write the products as this. Whichever one you prefer is fine with us. Make sure you have parentheses where we have them and you don't have them where we do not include them. Second reaction, I'm going to be combining sodium chloride with aluminum sulfide. Make sure to be careful about sulfide versus sulfate, etc. My reactants, sodium chloride is NaCl. Aluminum sulfide, I'll need to crisscross these, giving me Al2S3. For my products, sodium will now bond to sulfur, since sodium's a plus one and sulfur's a minus two. Sodium sulfide is Na2S. My other product will be the combination of aluminum and chlorine. Aluminum's a plus three and chloride's a minus one, giving me AlCl3. Again, make sure the aluminum is before the chlorine. As a reminder, you're welcome to swap these whole things, but within the compound, it always has to be positive negative. I find when balancing a reaction like this, it's easiest if I start with the one with the biggest subscripts. So Al2S3 has the most going on here. So with two aluminums, I get a two there. Now that gives me six chlorines on the right, so I'm gonna put a six over here. I now have six sodiums. Putting a three here gives me six sodiums, three sulfurs, three sulfurs, back to where we started and everything is good.